Hey guys, Happy New Year. I'm finally back with a new tutorial. It took me forever and a day, but I need to bring you guys some new content. This bra shape is called the Mermaid Bra Shape. I am so in love with this shape. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as I did. So let's get into it. So first off, for materials, you're going to need a measuring tape. Secondly, you will need your alignment pliers or cutting pliers like most people like to refer, it, refer to it as. And then you will need your premium strapping tape. I will have links in the description where you can get these items. I've got most of them from Amazon or like local hardware supply stores. Okay, so the first step is to measure out our underwire of the mermaid wire bra for this for this bra, I am measuring out 24 inches, which is equivalent to a B cup. Now, if you want to learn how to measure your bras, you can refer to my triangle wire bra tutorial. I'll put a link in the description and that'll give you an idea of how to measure your own bra to get the size that you need. So I'm marking 24 inches, cutting it. <laughs> struggling <laughs> now cutting it and now I am going to mark the midpoint of the underwire so the underwire is the part that goes under your boobs it's the strongest part of the bra it's basically the frame you're going to mark the middle point which will be 12 inches and then you're going to take your pliers secure the plier right where the marking is like right on the edge and then you're going to bend in forward using your thumb and your left hand, or if you're a lefty, your right hand, to bend the middle of the, the wireframe to create the peak that goes between the breasts. Now, what I'm doing here is basically just shaping the wire to create a wire bra frame. Now, it might be a little hard for those who don't have the experience doing this, so I would say get something like a paint can or a aerosol spray can and you can use that to shape the wire around it just to get that cylinder shape and then go from there um usually i'll put it up against my own chest and shape it around myself or i'll shape it around my mannequin let me know if you want a description or video on that okay for our next step we are going to create the cups of the mermaid wire bra now usually i prefer to just make one big measurement to cut out both cups so i will take the length that i need uh, for one cup and times it by two and then i will cut out that amount and then cut it in half so for both cups we need 28 inches and then we're going to cut that in half at the 14 inch mark 14 inch point so right now i'm just finding 28 inches found it on using the measuring tape and then i'm going to mark it off with a marker or a pen see that right there that's at 28 it looks like a seven but it's actually a two and i my fingers over the eight just making sure i mark it so i can see it once i cut it and then it, we're going to cut it in half at the middle point so you're going to mark it at 14 inches so now we have our two pieces of wire that we're going to shape into a cup now with this we are going to make a, a fish symbol it's a, a very simple symbol to make basically you're rounding out the top of the cup like you see me doing in the video like i said you can use the aerosol spray can to help you do this and wrap it around or a small paint tin to get this shape but this is the shape that we are aiming for um, just make sure that this shape has enough diameter that's going to cover your areola or your nipple space. So, you know, it, once you wear the bra, it doesn't, you know, pop out or anything that is showing full coverage because it is a risque bra type and it is possible, but I also, um, will tell people wear pasties. So like, I like to put the cups together to make sure that they are identical because, it's all about symmetry with this bra. It has to look very similar. So now we're taking our strapping tape. It's a very sticky tape and it almost has like teeth in it, which is perfect for um, wrapping wire bras or just wrapping any type of wire structure together because the teeth will help to hold the pieces together. 
Now, what I'm doing is I'm folding over a bit of the, the strapping tape in the middle of one of the cups, just so we can keep these two wires from sliding across from each other and we can make a complete cup. And I'm weaving the strapping tape around the different grooves. So in and out on each side, double taping, just making sure each side is covered so that we have a complete solid structure when we mount the cup onto the underwire. This is very important. You have to make sure you're wrapping very tight because you don't want any slips or any slides or anything like that. Don't mind the little piece of the tape sticking off that can easily be fixed with a bit of glue or if you have a, um, a lighter. I usually use a lighter because it's just easier. So now I'm just basically framing everything so you guys are going to see where the cups are going to lay on to the wire bra frame. Now it's, it, it's very important that these are symmetrical. Keep that in mind. So now this step is basically putting the cup against the wire frame so that we can see where we want to mount the cup onto the wire frame. This is very important. You're gonna use your marker and you're gonna make a spot on the cup and you're gonna make a spot on the wire frame so that it's identical to each other because you're gonna use that marking to mount your cup. Now you're gonna take your pliers and you're gonna bend towards Oh, sorry, away from yourself, my bad. <laughs> away from yourself using your thumb. Definitely use your thumb. Don't just use supplies by itself. It'll be super difficult. And then I turn it around. And then what I'm going to do is bring the wire towards me. So we're going to make a bend where the marking is, where it's supposed to be supported onto the cup. Right, you see how it matches up? Right, that's exactly what we're trying to do match it up so that we know exactly where our cup is going to sit on the wire frame. Okay, so our second step, we are going to shape the cup wire, which is the feet of the cup, to mimic the wire bra frame because we want to match them up as, as much as possible so that we can lay them on top of each other because the this is very important like you need to make sure these match so when you're wrapping there's nothing sticking out there's nothing that's going to bother you or bother the person that you're making the wire bra for it's going to be comfortable you don't want it to slide slip or anything like that that's why you need to make sure you match up the wire to the frame as much as possible now you see i'm doing a little bit of adjusting here because the end of it wasn't matched up as much as it possibly could have been but that happens so keep your pliers you know on standby when you're doing this for sure just so you can come in and tweak little things so i'm wrapping up to the end of the wire it's going to be a bit exposed so when when you have it's a situation like this you're just going to take another piece of tape and basically go over that area again so i'm taking another piece of tape wrapping it around first and then pulling the tape around and i'm going to wrap up a bit over where that wire is cut so it's not exposed and secure it that way and then i'm going to keep wrapping and i'm going to wrap like my life is depending on it because you want to make sure this is wrapped tight tight like a tiger okay <laughs> so keep on wrapping you can flip it over if you're uncomfortable if the other way is comfortable for you i usually flip back and forth and i'm gonna wrap back down the wire and i'm gonna secure it a bit more All right and then usually what i'll do is add a bit of glue or use my lighter to secure the tape ends that tend to free up because of the moisture on your hands um, but if you don't want to use a lighter, I would say use just some glue, just dab a bit of hot glue on there and it'll keep it from fraying. Um, so now I'm doing the next side. So you guys can just watch and see basically like what I'm doing to shape the wire against the wire frame, making sure that they match, stay in frame crystals, stay in frame, stay in frame. Okay. 
and I'm making sure it's matched up to the wireframe. And then what I'm going to do is secure that piece. Okay, so I've done the other side. Um, if you guys want an in-depth video on wrapping, please let me know in the comments. I will be more than happy to do that. I just don't want to bore you guys if not if n not if it's not necessary. So I'm just showing you how everything's wrapped. Now I'm measuring from the peak, the middle of the wire bra frame, to where the first joint was wrapped, and all of this is to mark out the other side so that is as symmetrical as possible so the first side was four inches now this side is seven inches and what i'm going to do is take those measurements and mark it out well well i keep a mental note but you can write it down seven inches on the right side four inches on the left side and what you're going to do is take those measurements take those measurements and you're going to mark it out on the other side Okay, so just as a visual aid, this helps as well. After you place your markings, you can place the cup down right next to the wire bra frame, and you'll see where you can basically tape it down, and then you just go over the, the steps that we went over. So this is the completed flat wire bra. Don't worry, we're going to get into shaping, but we're gonna put on our anchors first, which is one of my favorite parts. I have a very in-depth, um tutorial on how to make anchors in the triangle wire bra tutorial i will link it in the description but you guys can let me know if you want a video just concentrated on this alone so for anchors i usually mark it out but um after you practice this for such a long time you kind of just get an idea of where you want to place your anchors now usually for me now especially with this shape i will place the anchor uh basically at like a half an inch away from the joint of the cup not where not the middle of the cup but where the joint where the leg of the cup hits the wire bra frame so now what i'm doing is just wrapping wrapping the strapping tape around the joint sorry around the anchor onto the wire bra frame making it as tight as possible and as you can see is literally half an inch. The actual circular part is half an inch away from the joint of the cup that's based on the wire bra frame. So that's basically how we attach an anchor onto a wire bra frame. And this is our very flat wire bra. Now I'm about to show you guys how I shape it out. First off, um, this is gonna be a B cup, so I won't need too much extreme shaping because of the, the nature of this bra, you want it to be very tight on your chest to hold your breast in. So now I'm just lightly bending it out. As you can see, I've bent it out a bit, but now I'm holding onto the base of the wire bra and I'm pushing out with my thumbs, gently going around the cup, pushing it out, pushing it out. And this will show you the strength of your taping. Now you see the, the, the cup is not falling off, it's not breaking off, it's because of how strong the tape has been adhered um, during the process. So you can see that's one cup that's bent out and then that's one flat cup. For this cup, you do not need an extreme amount of bending, FYI, because you do not want it to be so bent out that your boobs start to fall out. It's more of a, a bra that holds your boobs in very tightly, if that makes sense. Um, so what I'm doing here is just creating a little anchor at the top of the wire bra so you can slide in your straps. It's not too hard, but sometimes, you know, you can lose control of the wire bra. So just hold it very firmly and then use your pliers to make that loop and then squeeze. And then you have it on both sides and we're done with the wire process. Now we'll move on to creating padding for the wire bra frame. Okay, so now we are preparing to pad the wire bra frame. I'm using a very thick fabric. I cannot remember the name of it right now, but it, I got it from one of the local fabric stores here. Once I remember, I'm gonna put 
that in the description so you guys can scoop that up wherever you're located and now i'm going to make the shape of the padding using the wire bra as a stencil so i'm just stenciling around the shape very easy this process is not supposed to be hard or complicated um, for some people it takes a bit long for them to make the shape to cover the wire bra frame but there you go two three seconds and you're done now the only issues you, you may encounter is if your cups are not the same size like mine aren't in this video as you can clearly see one is a little bit skinnier than the other but that's okay because at the end of the day the wire bra frame is basically a skeleton so i'm gonna take the bigger stencil or the bigger shape which is the one on the right and i'm going to use that as my main stencil so that is going to be the base of each cup the left and the right front and back so i'm going to make four of these and i'm basically just going to you to stencil them out cut them out and then use them to base the front and the back of the wire bra frame so i'm just cutting out here but as you can see this fabric is on the thicker side I know the name of it. It's going to come to me hopefully before the end of this video. If not, like I said, I'll put it in the description. But it is almost foam-like. You can use foam or bra foam, which is one of my favorite things to use. I just couldn't find it at the time. Um, and it's easily accessible. You can use an old bra that you have, cut it up, use that as the, the foam, and call it a day. So now I've put the first set on the inside, and now I have place the second set of fishies or fish paddings, um, fish shaped paddings on the front. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys the fabric that I'm going to use for this wire bra. It's a holographic snake print that I love so much. I got it from Alex LA Fabrics on Etsy. I will put the link in the description. So I took the fabric and I cut it up into quarter inch, half inch strips, just so it's easier to wrap. And voila, we have a finished wrapped bra. Please let me know if you want a full in-depth tutorial of this, although I do have it in my triangle wire bra tutorial, but this is how it's going to look. I love how the different colors are on each side. So now I am going to show you guys how to cut the fabric to place on top of the padded cups. Now you're going to give yourself at least a quarter inch space away from the cup, because remember you're going to overlap this fabric onto the cup. It's very important that you do this. You don't want um, not enough space when you're overlapping the fabric onto the other side of the cup because it needs something to hold on to. So you got to make sure you give yourself enough space. If, hell, if not, if not a quarter inch, do half an inch. The more the merrier because you can always go back and clean it up. But I like to do a quarter inch because it's just a little bit neater, a little bit cuter, whatever have you. But it also depends on you as a person, how neat you are. But it also depends on how much you practice as well. So make sure you guys practice because it will definitely make the difference in neatness. So I'm just cutting out the fabric, as, same as I did before with the padding. And it's done. And I'm basically showing you guys how the shape looks. The iridescence of the fabric is going to pop it off, even though I'm going to completely cover this bra. I've done the other side. And now I'm just gonna show you guys how I cover the cups. Now, what I do, I like to place a bit of glue on the middle and that'll help secure the fabric onto the cup. And then I'll press down where the glue was placed just to get it sticky onto the fabric till it dries and it's completely attached. And then I like to go to the end of the cup and yeah, I'm just smoothing it over to make sure that it's stuck <laughs> before I do this. And I will glue the end on the inside and then I will fold it over nice and neat. Just be mindful of your fingers. I'm immune to this. Sometimes I get burned, sometimes I don't. But you can get burned very easily if you put on too much glue or if you don't pull the fabric over far enough. So now that I've done that to the bottom and I've secured the glue onto the fabric, I'm gonna do it onto the top. It's just an easier method to make sure everything is on very taut 
and we don't have any bumps or any like you know areas where there's little air pockets or anything like that and now what i'm going to do is cut the corners of the cup where the fabric is laying so it's easier to fold over and then sorry it's taking a little bit while <laughs> to do it and then i'm going to fold the outside pieces of the fabric over onto the inside of the cup now my camera kind of cut off during the first cup but as you can see how neat it is on the inside that's basically what we're doing here on the second cup i'm just folding it over where i glue it and kind of holding it down for a little bit like maybe a second or two just to make sure it's staying down sometimes you get a little extra fold at the top but you can easily go back over that with your glue gun once you once you've done once you have finished securing the flaps on the side so i'm doing the same thing again pulling it over folding it over laying it on top of the glue putting my finger down and securing it i got a little fold there but that's okay and at the end of the day once it's comfortable and there's no hard pieces of glue sticking out and stuff like that you're good to go just want to make sure that the fabric stays on and it's applied well and then you can go back and clean up the little bits and pieces that are folding over like where where we cut in the corner you might have a few of those so now what i'm doing is taking the outside folds that are, that are separated from the cut and wrapping it around the wire frame the base of the frame the base of the wire bra and then just securing it with a bit of glue. Doing this on both sides. I've already done it on the other side, but my camera cut out, so I'm just gonna show you guys on this one side. And voila, I finished wrapping the bra. And look how beautiful that is. Like you could even just use this wire bra without any gems on it like that. Okay, so now I'm just showing you guys um, the random gems I'm using. I got some from Highs. I got some gems from Shador. I have like a random airing there. That was the first thing I showed you guys. I will link their businesses in the description, but I just want to show you guys how beautiful these gems are. The iridescence, the AB coating, the different colors of the AB colors. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. It's just going to set off this design. That's why I'm calling it the mermaid wire bra because I think it's so pretty, all the gems and the colors together. So I'm just going to stop talking now and let you guys enjoy this process. And then I'll chime back in at the end. Yeah. The lady, how oh, you push up on me Vibe nice when everybody just a lock on to me No questions, girl, put your hand on your knees Oh, why you, baby? Oh, please Woman, you don't know what you're doing to me No questions, girl, push it back slowly Girl, I'm ready, oh, please yeah. Give me wine, uh, give me that uh, Give me wine, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah Give me wine Give me wine like the water 
when everybody just a lock on to me No questions, girl, put your hand on your knees For you, baby, oh please Woman, you don't know what you're doing to me No questions, girl, push it back slowly Girl, I'm ready, oh please, yeah Give me wine, eh Give me that, eh Give me wine Thinking out loud, 